Well, what if you could walk into a small room at a local hospital and within minutes know your blood pressure, pulse, and blood oxygen levels, among dozens of other health indicators? Well, thanks to a Canadian tech company, you may be able to do just that in the near future. Joining us to talk about this remarkable advancement in healthcare is the CEO of Bond, Andrea Galindo. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. So this is really exciting. It's interesting too. And just to give folks at home background, this is a concept that was once used to help astronauts conduct self-assessments on their own because they're far away and if they need anything, takes them quite some time to, to come back down to Earth. So you're bringing this concept here to Earth. Tell us a little bit about this. Yes, um, Vaughn was initially working with the Canadian Space Agency on the Health Beyond initiative, um, aiming to bring autonomous healthcare for astronauts in deep space, but also for people in remote communities across Canada and possibly the world. So now we're taking the same technology, the same concept and having an application for healthcare. And this technology is, or it's been said to also be able to perhaps address one of the biggest issues that we've seen right across Canada, and that is the uh, country's doctor shortage here. What other health indicators can this autonomous program check for? So we, overall, we're capable of measuring more than 40 health data points combined. It depends on the number of medical devices that we incorporate in our technology. The core value or the core, core strength of the technology is using health data as a mean for the doctors to see and to have an overview of the entire health of the patient. And uh, the interesting part here too is that we spoke about how this concept was initially used by astronauts as well, um, but the technology here on Earth is also gonna end up uh, helping astronauts as well. Can you walk us through how the data, what impact the data collected will, will have? Yes, um, so we use collective intelligence, meaning that with all the biometrical data that is taken from the medical devices, we're capable of building a stronger um, expert system for the doctors, whether they are on Earth or for astronauts, to have a better understanding of what's really happening to the patient, whatever they are, regardless of the location. Whether we're talking about space or remote communities, how do we give the healthcare practitioner a tool to streamline to understand what's really happening to the, to the patient in no time? and what the needs yes. are. And, uh, and I, I'm envisioning all this. I'm seeing the footage because City News was there as well, uh, talking about this um, a new pilot and technology. And I'm just imagining kind of walking into a room and being able to uh, you know, uh, go through this process, self-assess. And then there's also um, a nurse nearby mm -hmm. who's able to follow up with any concerns or if the um, findings or results come back that may require a, a medical professional to intervene. That's correct. We're going to have a, we, we do have a risk assessment score giving the nurse uh, a flag, let's say, or, or a tool to provide a better decision um, support system to, for them to align you know, what are the patients that require urgent care mm -hmm. at the moment, if that is the case, or which ones should be in the lookup. Okay, and so the pilot project introduced in Montreal uh, this week, what comes next? Are you hoping to grow this? Um, are you hoping to remain in Montreal? What, what are you expecting will happen next? No, we, we want to expand. We're gonna start obviously with a very strong, powerful pilot project. We are looking to reach out um, over a thousand patients before the 12 months, and then we want to obviously expand to, to, to multiple people across Canada. Yeah. And how are you, um, I guess, integrating with the healthcare system in Canada? So this is where we talked independently with the organizations, as per said, to understand what are their problems, their requirements, and how do we use our technology case by case. Okay. Um, in a very similar way. So in the case of Montreal, we started with a small pilot. We knew the number of patients that we will be seeing and we work, you know, along with our technical people to ensure that everything goes smoothly.
All right, yeah. Andrea Gillen, there's so much more questions I can ask. We appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Thank you so much, Thank Andrea. you so much.